that uh, that wraps up the uh, the FBS NFL talk here. But before we uh, before we get to curveball of the week, which I have, um, Dakota Marco, got to got to preview that. And you know, this is a little bit of some unfamiliar territory for for the Bison, as you know, they have come in the last few years of where uh, they've lost four straight Dakota marker games, five in total um, with the, uh, with the national championship uh, game loss, you know, South Dakota state is 11 and a half point favorites. Well, the last long I, I saw um, they're, they're by far and away the best team in college football this year. They, they do not have many weaknesses at all. This is a tall task for the bison. Um, some keys to the game offensively. No turnovers. They cannot have any turnovers. They cannot turn the ball over in this game, which has cost them in the in previous matchups. Um, going back just as in the last two, for example, is you know the first game they had after they, they called Cam Miller for unsportsmanlike conduct. The next play, Cole Payton goes and throws an INT, and they just snowballed. And then the second game, both times when they had. The next time they have momentum, the defense goes and gets a stop. Offense is driving. Kobe Johnson fumbles the ball. South Dakota State goes down and scores. The rest is history. Um, I think they're going to need to find something in the run game other than other than the quarterbacks. They got to find ways to um, for Barika Penu, uh, Tamaric Williams, got, uh, TK Marshall. They need to run the ball and be effective. They need to, you know control the clock. They need to go on one of those long eight, nine minute vintage bison drives that has made them turn made NDSU what they've been the last eleven years. And um when when they get down into the red zone, because I do think they're gonna be able to move the ball against South Dakota State, they can't settle for field goals. They gotta fi- they gotta come away with with punching it in the end zone. They gotta get touchdowns. Um and then over on the defensive side. They need to force turnovers. The last, in, in this win streak that South Dakota State's been on, do you know how many turnovers the Bison have forced in those games, Grant? Zero. 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 They cannot – you 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 can't do that against South Dakota State. You have to find ways to force some turnovers, get Mark Gronowski under pressure. Um, they're going to be down Will Moster, who blew his Achilles on the defensive line. Um Find find somehow some way to make them one dimensional and shut down the run um, and see it, see it what Mark Ranowski's like as a drop back passer because uh-huh. I he hasn't been put in those tough spots a whole lot. Um, the other thing is win first and second down something they have not done in games they've lost. They didn't do it in the UND game. They didn't do it against South Dakota in that loss. Um, and then going back to South Dakota State in the national title game, they could not get off the field on third down. That's something they have to do to even have a shot. Um, like I said, it's a tall task. Nobody thinks they're going to be able to win. But I think that's the most dangerous NDSU team, though, is, is a team where they are the underdog. Nobody believes they can win. Can they go into Brookings and get a win? It's going to be tough to say. but And it's not an indictment of – NDSU, I still think NDSU is a solid team, and they've got the work cut out for them even to make the playoffs this year. But um, if they win, if they lose this game, they're probably going to have to win their next two to make sure they solidify and not have to sweat out select Sunday. <laughs> but that's our NDSU SDSU preview. I, like I said, I'll be be up in Velvo coaching coaching in the uh, semifinals, so I won't be able to do a recap of the game. Hopefully, be able to catch the end of it, and hopefully, it is a game by the uh, by the time our game is over, so I can can watch it and hopefully cheer on a uh, Bison victory and get the uh, Dakota marker back where it belongs in Fargo. 